Welcome back everyone to another rather cool uh, Saturday morning here at the Big Top. It's about 9.30 right now. Uh, the only thing we've sold, we had Carlos come in and buy a battery cover for an N64. We've started carrying that, that kind of stuff, the accessories. Let me show you some stuff now that we just took in, some really nice stuff. Alright, first we had three original Xbox games. They're all Dance Dance Revolution games. Not real uh, expensive, but they are kind of popular, especially if you can get the dance pads for them. And the rest of these are PC games, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries, uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-Earth. We've got MechWarrior Inner Sphere. We've got Homeworld 1 and 2. We've got Warcraft 3, StarCraft. Microsoft Flight Simulator X, uh, Combat Flight Simulator number 3. So yeah, some pretty actually some pretty decent stuff, guys. Well, it is coming up on 11.30. We're setting at 3.01. It has been raining cats and dogs out here today, but it hasn't stopped the uh, customers from coming in. We've had quite a few uh, come into the booth so far. Some of the stuff we've sold in the last hour and a half, we sold a Wii guitar with two Wii guitar games, and they picked up Kirby's F Epic Yarn as well. We sold uh, Grand Theft Auto V for the 360, and we sold two Superboys. One of our regulars came in, picked up one, he picked up Secret of Mana, our loose copy, and then he came back about five minutes later and picked up another one. So guys, once things start picking up again, I will let you know. Well, it is coming up on 1.30. We're setting at 4.08. Uh, it's still pouring down rain out here. Uh, we still have quite a few customers coming in, though. Uh, some of the stuff we've sold in the last hour, hour and a half, uh, somebody has come in and bought uh, like three of the decent Atari 2600 games, like Ghostbusters, E.T., and Flash Gordon. They also picked up some NES games. We had a gentleman come in and pick up Star Wars Empire Strikes Back for the Atari. Uh, then we had uh, somebody come in and pick up a couple GameCube games from us. Uh, I think it was Harry Potter, Gobble the Fire, and a SpongeBob game. And then somebody come in and picked up uh, three PS3 games. The best one was Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z. It was like a $20 game. So guys want to see start picking up, I will let you know. All right, guys, we took in a really couple good trades at the very end of the day. We've got an Aerosmith guitar here, Aerosmith uh, 360 guitar, tested it, and it does work. Very cool. I am going to include the uh, Aerosmith game with it. I actually have it. And here is the big one. It is a box Commodore 64 and two loose 64s, three drives, two printers, a whole bunch of manuals. He said the uh, systems do not work. I'm going to take them up home and take them apart, maybe clean them, push on the chips and see if I can get them working. It was basically $50 in trade for this stuff here. And it was $10 for the guitar. He actually took $50 worth of Atari 2600 games, my $1.99 game, so that is amazing. Well guys, it is 4 o'clock. We're getting the heck out of here. We ended up at 455. Sales were really slim at the end, but with those hellacious trades that we did, the actual um, 360 guitar, he actually took two Wii games. So it was even better for us, and those um, Commodore pieces, the Commodore 64 drives, printers, him taking the Atari 2600 games was awesome for us as well. A few things we sold, we sold Survival, um, Walking Dead Survival Instincts for the PS3, Titanfall sealed copy for the 360, and Dante's Inferno for the 360. So guys, now stay tuned for Sunday. Welcome back everyone to a rather cool Sunday morning here at the Big Top. As we were walking in, we had one of our normal guys that we buy a lot of stuff from uh, came in and another gentleman has been in a few times. We bought some stuff from him. Let me show you that stuff real quick. All right, here is the stuff. This is the gentleman that I call the junk man. He uh, brought in a whole bunch of stuff last weekend for us. Also brought that Donkey Kong 64 game for the N64 in as well. We've got a Portal for 360. We have the Mario Kart 8. Uh, steering wheel with a Wii controller. Here is the cream of the crop. We've got Mario uh, Advance for Super Mario Bros. 3, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, ATV, Cars, Pokemon Platinum, Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario, Brother, or Super Mario Kart 7, we've got the Super Mario Bros. Land, and a Call of Duty game. As you can see, the Mario Brother games are quite expensive. I think GameStop sells them for between $30 and $35. I think that's just absolutely crazy. We uh, gave the gentleman $10 a piece on those, as you can see, because I put $20 on them. We always get 50% on the really good stuff. And here's the other stuff the uh, other gentleman brought in. He got like a Genesis controller in there, a couple AV cables for a 360 and original uh, 360, which original Xbox, a 360 original uh, Xbox power supply. We've got 
You can see Tenchu, Tenchu 2, Body Enforce 2, Jerry McGrath, Supercross 98, and the best one. I cannot believe this came in here. A immaculate copy of Silent Hill. Okay, it is 11.30. We're sitting at 2.13. Uh, the gentleman who's bought the Super Boys from us uh, yesterday, the two of them, came back and spent another $140 with us. He uh, picked up a Mother 1 and 2 cart as well as Mother 3. He picked up the Super Game Boy Advance that I had. It uh, plugs into a Super Nintendo and allows you to play Game Boy Advance games. And he picked up the Pokemon Yellow Complete and Box copy that I had. We also sold an Xbox 360 controller, wired. We sold three uh, DS games. I think it was like Plants vs. Zombie and Sonic Rush. And there were a few other things, guys. So once things start picking up again, I will let you know. Well, guys, it is 2 o'clock. We're sitting at 4.55. That is the good news. The bad news is somebody came in and swiped the two Super Mario Brothers 3DS games that I got this morning. I had them in my little display case that sits on top of the big glass case. Turned my, uh, my head for a minute, and they were gone. We thought we may have found the people. Even had the, sheriff, the deputy sheriff uh, pulled up my side, but, of course, since I didn't see them, we couldn't search them. So, unfortunately, um, out about 60 bucks, they also got... The Resident Evil Mercenaries game for the 3DS as well. Didn't even mention it last weekend on Sunday, Easter Sunday, we lost a $37.99 brand new game. It was the Transformers Devastation for the PS4 factory sealed. It was up on the shelf and we turned our heads and before you know it, it was gone as well. That's just such as life, I guess, being out here at a flea market. We've been talking about possibly getting some uh, security cameras to put out here and maybe try to get some people. Uh, hopefully we can catch them if we do uh, have more stuff missing. And now some of the stuff that we recently sold this last couple hours. We sold a 360 wireless controller. Uh, we sold Final Fantasy Chronicles for the PS1. Uh, FIFA 14 for the Xbox One. We sold Pokemon Y for the 3DS. I sold two of the Super Nintendo controllers that we sell out here, brand new. Uh, the aftermarket ones. We sold uh, like three DS games. The best one was probably the uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Uh, I think today has been um, PS3 games because we have just sold a ton of them. We sold Little Big Planet and we sold Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. We sold five PS3 games. They were all Call of Duty games and they picked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up as well. So guys, once things start selling again, I will let you know. Well, guys, it's a quarter till four. I think we're going to get out of here. Right before we uh, were about to pack up, we uh, the guy came in and uh, brought us some stuff. We got a PS1 with all the hookups. Kind of a neat controller. I know it's an ASCII, wear, ASCII pad. Never seen one before. I thought that was kind of cool. He also brought some games in as well. We got Top Gun, Fire at Will. We got A Bug's Life. We've got Nuclear Strike. Toy Story 2, Asteroids, 007, The World Is Not Enough, and Gran Turismo. Well, I had somebody, a couple people come in while I was filming that. Uh, we ended up at 563. Uh, between like 3 and 4, I sold a, a aftermarket wireless PS3 controller that was used. They also picked up uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the PS3. Uh, then I sold a Zapper Gun, a brand new aftermarket for the NES, and they uh, also took a Dog Bond controller as well. So guys, now stay tuned for the wrap-up. Alright guys, here is the wrap-up portion of the video. Yes, it's like Tuesday night, and as you can see, got a haircut. Um, run a little bit late. I took off Monday and Tuesday though, just kind of relax, try to recoup from uh, all the working I've done last year. Um, so on Saturday, we did 455. Sunday, we did 564 for a grand total of 1018. So we're back to uh, over $1,000 again uh, for the weekend, which we did really good with the exception of the theft that we had. I thought it was a pretty good weekend, especially uh, that it was actually kind of cool on Sunday. It was really nice, not hot. Uh, left the actual um, fans off in our booth all weekend because uh, of how nice it was. Now, guys, I got one thing I just got in the mail. It's something I had ordered about a year, year and a half ago, maybe. Um, and it finally came. They finally did the second run of this. Really happy to get this. I've only got one game to try out. That is the uh, Coleco Super Game Module. Basically, it allows you to play the Super Atom Super Cartridges. And they're making a, a whole slew of homebrew games 
Like I said, I've got one that uh, requires it. Here it is. It is Kings Valley. So you hopefully can expect to see a video of me playing this game here shortly since I can finally do that. And I'll probably start ordering some of the homebrews that this is compatible with. They're making uh, some pretty neat games like an uh, arcade port of Donkey Kong for this system with all the uh, arcade sounds and such. So guys, uh, thanks again for watching.